Hi everyone, my name is Vanda and I'm a senior full stack developer from Sweden. And welcome to this Flutter animations course. I have to say from the beginning that this course is not for beginners. I would actually go and say that this course is not even for intermediate developers because you'll need to know trigonometry, for instance, algebra, and also you need to be comfortable with Flutter. So there are quite a lot of things and moving parts. Uh, however, since there's maths involved, I would do my best to explain these concepts. But when it comes to tri trigonometry, for instance, I will probably just refer you to your favorite search engine to search for some of the concepts that we're going to discuss, for instance, on how to draw basic shapes in Flutter. Uh, even though this course is named Flutter Animations course, but it's also a Flutter Graphics course because we're going to talk quite a lot about, for instance, Custom Painter. So uh, just be ready for that. There's lots and lots of new things probably that we'll introduce in this course, but I'll do my best to explain them from the ground up. Uh, however, sometimes that's not completely possible because otherwise this course will just go on forever. Um, the way I've designed this course at the moment is that every video in the course is going to cover one particular animation. So I will demonstrate how that animation is going to look like, what its purpose is, because all the animations in this course are going to have a purpose. They're not just going to be there for uh, so that they look nice. So we will create some very uh, practical animations that you can basically use in your Flutter application. So Every vid video will be self-contained and they won't really be connected to each other. But I assume that you're watching the videos uh, in a serial manner so that you're watching the first video and then the second video will probably just depend a little bit on the first video and that I won't explain all the concepts over and over again, even though animations won't be connected to each other, if you know what I mean. I will need to use some sort of a teaching help mechanism, kind of like an iPad or a tablet, because some of the concepts in this um, in this series of videos are going to be quite difficult to explain just uh, by words. So sometimes, I, I mean, I haven't really finalized that part because I haven't actually started recording the actual videos for uh, for each animation. But when we get there, I will then make a decision on whether we're going to use an iPad or uh, Galaxy tablet or whatever, something that will help me demonstrate the concepts in, in video. So we will jump from actual coding to some demonstration of how things uh, need to be laid out on the screen, just, just so you know about that. Also, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Still more than 40% of people watching the videos haven't really subscribed to my channel. Uh, and that will really make a big difference for me. And uh, also, if you want to support me, you could either join my YouTube channel by pressing the join button, uh, or you could just press the thanks button at the bottom of any of the videos uh, that you find particularly helpful. So without further ado, let's just get started. 